Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and a new video. Bit of a last minute one, Chris. Yeah, Guys, bit. Chris spotted something in the auction and he was like, I'd really like to go and have a look at that. And we always enjoy having a walk around and a look anyway. So on this occasion, we actually reached out to James at Hobbs Parker and said, James, is there any chance we can come down the day that the cars arrive? So it's actually a Sunday. Yeah. We don't normally date stamp things, but it's actually a Sunday evening. It's a nice evening. I picked Chris up in the old Lambo. We had a nice run down in that, we did. which was lovely. And should we make a beeline for what you actually wanted to see, or do you want to have a little walk I around think first? We're going to look at everything, aren't we? Yeah, but should we show that first off? Yeah, I yeah. think definitely. Yeah. So, little bit of history. Chris, a shout in the background if I get it wrong. The 1934 Morris Commercial that he is doing a full restoration on at the moment, which was his and his dad's. They actually purchased three in total, we did. all at one time. Yep. That all one, from the same guy. all from the same guy. Two of them were in bits. No, two were complete. Two were complete. One, one had been restored. Yep. One was original and one was in bits. Right. And this one in here was the one that was in bits. Chris has given it away there, guys. They actually had bought this one and it was in bits. And you'll see, as soon as you see it, the colour of it is exactly the same as what yours was. Yes. And Chris, his dad, and another guy, sorry, there's someone revving a bike up there. We'll let him finish revving that up, and then I think we'll walk over to it. Sorry. So this is one of the ones that was in bits. And Chris said, where he says Richardson's and Sons is not actually, no, it's not correct. My dad sold it to Bernard Barker, who well, was a butcher. A butcher, and he yeah. was four times King Kent Sausage, Sausage Champion, yeah. Champion. Yeah. and it still says it on the yeah. side, but they've put a sticker over yeah. his name to Richardson's and Sons. But I think the guy, you can actually see it all raised in that door yeah. under that sticky. Yeah. You're not, North, I, North Drive. I don't know if you're gonna see it there guys, but. I've got some pictures of it, Will. Oh, we'll, we'll include them. I'm actually standing that side of it and Bernard standing this side. What year was that? Uh, 1992. So a long so time ago. Years, so I had hair. Oh, you had, oh, did you? Yeah, short hair, but I had hair. So guys, this is unbelievable. Chris, just see it pop up on the auction, but you actually did also see this last week at the county show. Yes. And you had a, a bit of a look round it then. Yeah, yeah. So this body wasn't even on this truck. No. It didn't have a body. But you had a local chap actually make this. Yeah, that was made by a guy called Sid Moss, who was a uh, time-served carpenter, and he'd worked for a company called uh, Brunts, I think it was. Oh, really? A coach builder. And that's what he'd done all his life. This is all wood, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, all wood. All ash framed. I'm going to stand back a little bit. Is it unlocked at all, do you know? It's locked. Oh, is it? And was that the number plate they had on it yeah. when when you yeah, sold it? That's it, yeah. So this is exactly the same. I would be right in saying that, won't I? Yeah. Exactly the same it's as yours. T2. Well, it's not. It's very very similar. It's a T two, but this is an earlier one. No front brakes. So this is not 1934. This is no, earlier. This is 1930. Oh, is it? No front brakes. Where the 34's got front brakes. This is a magneto ignition. Sorry, Chris, that guy's annoying. One Sorry second. That. Someone's turned up with some motorbikes and just keeps revving them up for some reason. Yeah, so this has got magneto ignition as opposed to coil right. ignition. But very, very similar. I can't, gee, it seems really weird standing here. Yeah. See, I know not for everybody else, but for me in particular, because I've known you for over 20 years and that truck's always been this colour yeah, until yeah. we picked it up after yeah. it had been painted. Yeah. And it's it must be quite... Well, I've got pictures of all this body being built back at the workshop. I've got, I think I've got pictures of this alongside the other one. Have you? When they were, were both in various stages of restoration. Oh, yeah. that's, that's brilliant. So, but I think what we'll do, Chris, there's so we'll much. include the photos. Right at the end. Yeah. Right yeah. at the end, we're going to put all the photos of this. So, guys, if this really did interest you, we're going to chuck that in the end. But there's some beautiful bits of kit here including that little van yeah, you just said that's, that's lovely. and that's a thames 500 weight yeah. thames 500 weight so let's have a little look around the other stuff but just before we move on we might as well stay there's only four here now this is not this is an original bt van but somebody's had it restored and put all the stickers back on it look at that in the back all kitted out isn't it 
all kitted out with all of the original BT stuff. A hangs manual down there, which is it's crazy, isn't it? Look how clean it is. Chris, that would, uh, this would have been a back window behind them, wouldn't it? To have them in there. Yeah. So yeah. someone's put some, some new doors on it. Let's just get round this side. Look how tidy that is. It is very, but someone's restored it, haven't they? There's a little Thames trader. Thames trader. Thames trader, yeah. I'm going to stand this side, Chris, because because this is... going to look at what else we got. Because we have literally just got here. And we have just got here. There's, yeah, as you can see, guys, they're actually bringing all the cars in as we speak. I apologise there, guys. We had the cut. They kept bringing in motorcycles and... Every time we spoke, it seemed like the, the guy was in perfect tone with my voice. I'm revving them up. Yeah. So we decided to actually come outside because James just said there's actually a couple out here that are going to be going through. That convertible Escort oh, is now being cleaned up with the roof down. So right. I should think they're probably going to put that through. But he did say there's a few classics out here. Hillman Imp or an Avenger. I'll start here and meet you around there, Chris. Got a bug there. Beetle. Old Renault 19. That's the Escort I was on about. That's been here for a long, long time. And you can see, well, you can see by the brakes it's been here for a long time. And it was in the last video. And I didn't really know what was going on with it because it had been left here for some time. But 7,000 miles, it's probably gone round. In fact, it's definitely gone round, hasn't it? A Vauxhall Vectra, Vectra B maybe. Little miner, is that a miner thousand? I should have Chris next to me. It is. Oh dear. What, that's, what's that? A Daimler or a limousine, yeah. limousine? Like a wedding car. And what is that's not an Ilman Imp, is it? I was miles away. Minx. What Minx? It's right. Automatic. That must be rare, mustn't it? Really. Well, I, I mean, I don't know. I, I can't remember seeing one. I was born in 80, so this was probably around before me. The whole car's in primer, isn't it? Or is that the colour? That's the colour. Yeah. More steering wheel. And that ring. That's nice. Column chime. Well, selector. It's all made. Got to be a rare car, isn't it? Oh, Rover. Yeah. It's been a while since I've seen one of them. That little Mini was here last time as well, yeah. It actually looks really nice until you get up close and it looks like it's been parked in the sea. There's a Mini van over there, Rob. Which, they've got incredible value now, haven't they, those little Mini vans? I can actually see it. Is there any more? There's no more classics here, apart from this Mini. I will just show this, Chris. You can see there, guys, it is rotten as a pear. It is, isn't it? Yeah. It's locked up. It's obviously been sat around for a long, long time. Yeah. I'll try and get the number plate so you can do a, your checks on it, see when it was MOT'd. But this is going through the auction. Still going to be a good little car for someone. They got all the, all the minis have got a value now, haven't they? Good value. So none of these over here are classics. There's a Series 1 Lambo over there as well. Well, a bit of one. There's two. Yeah. Look how tiny it is. Oh, no. lovely shape, though. Tiny little thing. Lovely shape. God, there's really not a lot to it, is there? <laughs> no. This is the closest I've ever been to one. I can't believe how small it is. Can you buy a bulkhead for it, though? Don't think so. That's probably the rest of it, is it? No, one has a four bearing. No. Six cylinder, that is. Got another one here. Wonder if they're out of the same collection. That is Land Rover Series 1, 86 inch. I think it's the 80 inch that's the most popular. 80 inch most popular. Yeah, the early. 
First of the first, 1955 this is. Yeah, and it's a petrol. Guide price, 800 to 1,000. I think it's worse than the other one. You've got to really want a Series 1, haven't you? Yeah, that's been sat, that. sat outside. I mean, all, what is that worth if, if it was a concourse thing? Are they worth a fortune, like? They're worth strong money, but uh, probably that would that would cost more to repair it yeah, than I what would, it's worth. Yeah, it'd be a labour of love, I, I would think. Um, all right. Let's head back inside, shall we? Yeah. We just went to walk out there and Chris said, oh, we better show that Mini. In the last video, we showed him repairing that cam belt kit and forgot to mention in there that it wasn't the water pump that fell. It wasn't, no. It was the teeth that stripped off the belt. But, yeah, this Mini, I think, is another one that's going to be a cost you a small fortune to rebuild. That's you can so see all that's moved, doesn't it? You'd have to be brave, wouldn't you? Absolutely rotten as a pair, that one. Brilliant fun when they're done, though, aren't they? You can see they've put it on a pallet to try and keep it together. Yeah. Look at them little wheels. Yeah. They're like eight inch. They're not even that, are they? Ten inch. Ten inch. Nah, they can't be. They look like they're off a wheelbarrow. Tiny little things. What's it like around that side? Yeah. No, it's actually a lot, lot worse. I think if you rested your foot there, you'd uh, you'd snap the poor thing in half. Yeah. Let's have a look at some nice ones inside. Guys, right, so hopefully Revin Rodney's had enough. <laughs> <laughs> we are inside now. They have got some. I, I mean, you'll always recognise the odd one or two that was in the last auction or the last time we was here. But he said so. There's over a hundred cars in this class. 120, and you can see they're still bringing them in. Chris, it's actually quite fumy in here, isn't it? That's why they got all the doors open. Tidy. Yeah, we're not here looking at tractors, though, mate. No, no, we're not. Jaguar. Nice little Porsche box to there. Even got the box number plate on it. Where are we going to walk? Down and then back up? It's nice that we're not going to catch anyone else on camera that don't want to be on camera, Chris, isn't it? That's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Mustang left-hand drive, an American import. Been out in the sun, isn't it? You don't see many of them, do you? No, There's you don't. No. But I think they've really crept up in value. Yeah. And they've got a massive following now. Yeah. I can hear an old Volkswagen. You can. I can, can't I? It's an old Beetle. Motor home there. Or Dave Ann, Transporter. We're going to spin round and walk back up that way, mate. Yeah, it is. Because we always end up missing. We do. Someone goes to me, Rob, why didn't you show that? So, what we've done, and the bikes, you know, when we've done that co park walk around, yeah. everyone said, I wanted to see all of them, but. Old Ducati. Old side shifter on it. I'm going to try and show all of them. Husqvarna motocross there. Zenit. Zenit. Can't tell I've ever seen one. No. Yeah, so he's not. It's not your cup of tea, but. No. You say that? Like, like I haven't already got to. You own to. I do. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll, we'll have them on the channel one day, but I have got a couple of old bikes, yeah. Oh, yeah, me 250, look. Some lovely old bikes there. Right, so back down that way. Just to give you an idea, guys, it, if you skip through and then ask me at the end, did we see a certain car, then that's, that's actually your own fault. But I think because we've walked down now, if we walk up here, Chris, yep. we can get both sides, save us doing too many rows at a time. But when they drove this in, Chris said, that is really, really clean. I should have known that, shouldn't I? That is, that is quite original over there, you know. What, it's not been restored? No, don't look like it's been welded, which must be a miracle. 
<laughs> You're going to upset someone saying that. Is that a 944, 924? There's no, there's no tickets in some... 944. There's no tickets in them yet, guys, so... That's definitely a new roof, isn't it? Very usable classic. Lovely in this wheeler. That's what Danny Boy's got. One of them. Oh, your friend, he has, hasn't yeah. he? Is he's convertible? He's got, yeah, he's got the headlight, the twin headlight conversion, and he's, I think, as well. Oh, yeah. Boss 302 Mustang. Another left hand drive. That must be a proper thing, that Boss, because. It's got all the seats in it. Some of these, are, well, in fact, they're all open. And they said, you you know, we can have a look round inside all of them, so. You don't care where the steering wheel is, do you? But for me, I mean, you don't, left-hand drive, right-hand drive, don't bother you, I'd does it? Right I'd rather right-hand drive. Honest, yeah. My 355 was left-hand drive, and although I got used to it, I never really loved it, being left-hand drive. Little Z3. Sweet, sweet. Repaired a few of them. Back in the day. Can yeah. you believe it's a classic now? What year is that, Chris? W, 2000. Um, yeah. yeah. Not really a classic yet, is it? No. Which is about right. That's what I was repairing when I worked for the hire company there. Was it? Loads of them on the hire. Another Jag there. And we just see... Was that the one that was coming in? Yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah, it is. 50, yeah, 55 AMG. SL. Bit of kit. Sounded nice, Chris, yeah, didn't it? Yeah, bulletproof as well, There's a bit of oil on the floor there. And it looks, I don't know. Oh, it's everywhere. Yeah. I wonder what that's coming out of. Mind you, all these old classics. Well, you've got... You've got to you take your pick, yeah. couldn't you? Yeah. I walked straight past that, Chris. I don't even know. It's a Honda, isn't it? 560 set. I think that was the same as the Rover. Yeah, I don't think that shape, yeah, although it looks very much like a Rover, doesn't it? it? Yeah. yeah. The old pillarless coupe. Yeah. Tank, yeah, 300 SL. I sat in the back of one of these once, most awful experience. See that bar around there, Chris? Yeah, it actually flips up, yeah. yeah. And you th that roof obviously comes off, so hard top. Rover 90. Yeah. Unusual plate, isn't it? 3065M. I mean, that must have a great value in itself, yeah. mustn't it? Should we again walk down the middle? Yeah. Excuse me, guys. A bit of hay fever. I keep having to sniff a little bit there. Again, not really a classic, is it? Mm. But. A lot of Mercedes. Yeah. And we're just coming up to saying that Chris said is very, very, like, rare. You don't see many of them. And Mo Opal Monza. Yeah. So it's basically their Vauxhall Monza. Yeah, yeah. Three litres, straight six. MOT'd, January 23. Yeah, three, 2.935 petrol 76,000 miles and I think James said this is a two owner from new car yeah. and it hasn't been restored it's just it, he said it's got its bumps and it's nicks around it and he pointed out this one here yeah. and it's got a few stone chips so nice nice original car I'm sure I'll recognize that number plate from somewhere though looks familiar I think that car used to be around Sydney did it yeah, That's another one of them old Mercs, but that's a lot older, isn't it? Isn't it? Look how nice that is, though. Oh, a lot of work lifting these off, putting it indoors. There is a soft top in there, folded yeah. down, that you can use. Little Mark III Fiesta. These, these have got a lovely value now because the shells on the two eyes and the rs turbos yeah. they're all similar so 
ultimately you get a good two door shell you can use that potentially like a couple of grand for that car and you're getting a solid shell it's you know people are doing it another mercedes there an older one another porsche where are we going down this way chris now this this i actually looked at when i was walking across and i actually thought it was a nissan micra yeah, it does look very like a micra doesn't it it looks exactly like a micra but see it i beefer but do you remember that a bit like a hyundai pony as well actually that. it does you're right system Porsche but then this do you remember they sold an overflow to Mazda and oh, Mazda rebadged them and one, called two, them a 121 one. One. Yeah. they changed just even the badge on the steering wheel was stuck on and it had a Mazda badge on the back now that Ibiza Seat which is now VAG was it part of Nissan I don't that looks very micro to me it does let's have a look at the front it's a Nissan Micro, isn't it? I don't know. Is it, it looks a bit iron as well, the moon. Guys, tell us in the comment section, was this the same as the little Nissan Micro? I don't know. What is that, Chris? That's old. Oh, it's in need of restoration. Yeah, well, you can smell how old that is. Almost, you could, you could patch it up to use it, couldn't you? Oily rag restoration, yeah, they the call thing, it, don't they? Yeah. It's got, it needs a new roof. You could, couldn't you? You could make that. I mean, I can't believe that things like this are still sitting in garages and pe people are pulling them out of garages. What is that, an Austin? beautiful Bentley that is lovely looking isn't it not sure about the wheels being the same color as the car but and the interior is the same color is it Singer I thought Singer made sewing machines well and they make cars as well This one needs an engine fitted. That, see that there looks like that's been restored, but it's very, very dusty. Probably has, isn't it, at some point. That's what, and then been sat yeah, again? Another good plate, isn't it? BLM 61. Chris, you actually told me about this last time we was here. That's an indicator, isn't it? Little arm flip. Yeah, yeah little yeah. flips out. Yeah. This is a, right, yeah. Yeah, all folding drop. Top. So this has been restored, hasn't it, at some point? Yeah, yeah it's got to be, hasn't it? There's, um, yeah, it must be. there's uh, pictures in there of it being oh, restored. Yeah, yeah. I'm not sure about the old radiator cap. We've already been that way, mate, so... Have you? So the last two rows, there's the midget I was on about earlier. So this is a, a kit car, I think we established. Royal it's got all, it's got like a Granada steering wheel and all. Yeah, two litre, well, I only looked at the steering wheel and the stalks. Yeah, fun car, I suppose. Not more cup of tea, but... Nice little convertible. It looks kind of old fashioned, but the wheels don't. Yeah. Prins. Does that say Prins? It does, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm not going to go. I don't know. And that little midget. You, yeah. Oh, do you know what? I had a brief look at it earlier when we walked over. It used to be red. But very, very usable. Nice interior, really it's got a lovely shine on it, especially on the camera. Yes, yeah, that has been done nicely in there, hasn't it? Yeah. 
Citroen 2CV or Citroen Dolly. Look how tiny that is, Chris. Yeah. That's another one though. I mean, it is from somebody's collection. It mm. looks like it's been restored, but it's covered in dust. Yeah. Well, mum and dad went to Cornwall in one of them with their two friends. You're joking. Oh. How long did that take? Two days. I didn't want to lift that up too much, but it's got a tiny, tiny little, looks like a two cylinder. Is it three cylinder, two cylinder? Yeah, what should that be? Four cylinder. Do you know, I could only see the front of it. I didn't want to lift it right up with one hand. Oh, mind you, someone's already. Oh yeah, yeah you can only see the two front ones. Yeah. He had two motorbike carburetors on his, he made them in there. Put two motorbike carburetors on it, made it twin carb. Free speed. Yeah, he had to reverse it up the hills when he was on holiday. He had so much log luggage on the roof. You're joking. And that's a that. that's an MGB, isn't it? Yeah. And not so desirable with no. the rubber bumpers. No. And not come into their own yet. No, I don't think they ever will, will they? I don't know, Chris. I don't, I don't want to say anything too bad because I don't want to get told off by someone well, that owns they're one. They're only done for the American market. Right. Because the chrome bumpers didn't meet the crash, pedestrian crash thing. So they'd made plastic bumpers for the American market. And everybody had to have plastic bumpers. Right. Again, what we're looking at? Renault 10. Rare, isn't it? Well, I have no idea. I've never, ever seen one. Rare car there. Got to be, isn't it? Eleven hundred cc. 1,759 miles, 1966. This has been restored, Chris. What, it's an original car? It smells like brand new. It's an original car, isn't it? Because who would restore one for a start? So that's original mileage, 1,000 and... What did that sound there? 1,759 miles. Yeah, you're right. Is, I think it is original. See that guy's just a little tiny bit of surface. That's a isn't it? It is. Is that the fuel tank? No. That's incredible, Chris, isn't it? Yeah, it does really. Little mini, we won't miss that. This has been like, it's got a few racy bits on it, hasn't it? Oh, you, oh dear. It's got a lot of switches in that, hasn't it? It does say um, Rear seat delete. Monte Carlo yeah, Rally inside. on it. That's a Mini Cooper, Austin Cooper S. That stag was definitely here last time, so we're not going to concentrate on that. I think we showed it in the last video. And this was here as well, Chris. Oh, I told the story about this car last time I was here, didn't I? I don't know. Yeah, I did, yeah. I can't remember. Really. Yeah. That was what we heard when I said, can I hear a Volkswagen? Yes. There's an E30 over there that's coming. Oh, and that and that Escort Cabriolet. Is that a 350Z, yeah? Or as the Americans are call it, a Z. Yeah. 350Z. They're, they're it, so there's a few more bits been bought in. Like that Bentley there, GT, uh, GT, and E30 BMW there, 1985. What are we looking at here, Chris? Uh, A35. Austin. Austin A35. Jelly, jelly mold. Jelly mold. Yeah, it looks a bit like a jelly mold. Is that what they was called? Yeah. Four door. <laughs> it's a tiny little thing, isn't it? Yeah. 
and another Mini there that looks absolutely exceptional, apart from all the hand prints on the glass. Yeah. Tired, Somebody's put those clear rear lights in. The purists will hate that, I think. It's quite light, isn't it? You'd have to um, reg yeah. check it to see. Airbag model. Oh, it's got an airbag in it, so it's not. It's a light one. Yeah. Isn't it? And an E30 there, let's have a look what engine it's got in it. Little 316, so that's the smallest one they do, the 1600 BMW, isn't it? Yeah. I don't think they did a smaller engine. This Escort, Chris, do you remember, I've mentioned it briefly earlier. Yeah. Someone actually bought this to auction and left it here. And it's that's been right. here for that's over, right. over yeah. a year. Yeah. They're obviously putting it back through to sell it. Right, they've got a few more in their backyard. Let's head around there yeah. and have a look as they're bringing them in. So yeah. you've got, is that a 7 Series or something? Like we'll have a look at that. There's an old um, Volkswagen camper out there. We can have a quick look at that. And then we'll walk around the back and have a look at what's not here yet. Exactly, guys, they are just cleaning some bits off that. It's a 635 CSI there. And it's got some bird muck on it. They want to get cleaned off of it as soon as possible. So we're not going to look at that one. You're fascinated by that, aren't you? Yeah, I just caught the, the sun, caught that quarter panel. It looks a bit peely. I think that has that That's it. Look. I think the roof's original. But that quarter panel and then up the side, look. Looks a bit blotchy through here, doesn't it? Originally, this would have just been... Um, Di direct gloss paint, own it, wouldn't it? Like just well, old school paint. Have, no, it might have been um, probably been cellulose, wouldn't it? Let's that go. Is, look, that hasn't been got. Has it? That is all original. That is all original. It may have had some paint. I, I think mean, it's had a bit of. Paint. It's been round a long time. You can see there. Look, if we zoom in. Yeah. You can see where the paint's chipped off. And that's like unmasking it, it's yeah, pulled it off. You can feel the rough edge there. So it's had a bit, but still a very, very nice car. And there's a good chance that that is the original mileage. I think it is. Let's get round to that back compound. Yeah. And the old uh, Volkswagen bus there. Fun bus. Looks like they've had some fun in it. There's all pictures in the window there with an awning up. I don't even think people bother painting them, do they? Because they like them like that. Yeah. Right, guys, round to the back compound. Just walk into the backyard, and I had to quickly run in, get some tissue, and there was a couple in here on display. Austin 7. And what is that one, Chris? A35. A35. I've got that one right. The A35 we saw there, but... Looks nice, doesn't it? Again, been restored, but a long time ago, I should yeah, think, didn't yeah. you? Right, now we're to get to that back compound. We'll have to be pretty quick here, guys, because there's only three left down in the back compound, and it looks like they're just about to leave. Right, there goes one we're going to miss, which is a 110 van, oh, yeah. and it looks very, very nice. In cream. Oh, they're towing it. They're towing it. That's an unusual one, because it's got the, uh, the slanted... Sliding windows. Right. B Reg 85. Yeah, yeah. What have we got here, Chris? Uh, full pot. Do you know what? I reckon if I stood there for five minutes, I'd have actually got that one right. These are the ones they always hot rod, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. And that shouldn't be fixed like that, should it? That should have one that pops out, should it? Um, or do you think that's like the first side repeaters? Yeah, yeah. I'll be honest, Rob, I don't know, but I wouldn't have thought that would have traffic haters on it. Chris, I want to make a beeline for the last car that's here, because I know everyone will like this. Because yeah. they, they went crazy about the last yeah. one. Oh. Yeah. Let's not mention it anymore. No. Okay, 92? Yeah. BMW E30 convertible. A little four-cylinder, but beautiful. Cam belt done. It's very, very tidy. very tidy. This ain't been restored at all, has it? It's just been nicely kept. It's got a few little marks around it, but it's lovely. Hundred and fifty-one thousand five-speed manual. 
That soft top looks nice and old, doesn't it? Mm. Really nice. Yeah, it's lovely, that is. Looks really, really original, doesn't it? I know it's not the oldest thing in the world, but I really like it. It's my era. Yeah. I had one of these with a sport kit on it, and I absolutely loved it, and it was in bright red like that as well. Well, right, yours, could be mine. Right, I think let's yeah, walk back to well, my I car. There's a good selection here. Yeah, lovely it's selection. Like, something for everyone, really, isn't it? Yeah, there is. Little dust cart there. You ain't got one of them, Chris. No, you I, don't, I don't think we need one of them in our life. Right. Probably. And these are all obviously upcoming auctions. Where we are on the Ashford Orbital Park, that'd be right, wouldn't yeah. it? There's actually loads of main dealers here. So you've got Land Rover here, Mercedes. Jaguar, Mercedes, Peugeot. It's like one of them massive retail parks where you've just got all the different dealerships. So all of their part exchanges or their surplus vehicles, they all come here yeah. and they all go through the auction and all the local car dealers and surrounding area come and buy them. Right, let's head back to the car. We're just about done down here now, but we do want to say thank you to James. James, if anybody wants to bid on any of these cars, what is the process? Because I don't want to get it wrong. Absolutely fine. The easy thing to do if you're unsure is to ring the office and speak to me. I'm yep. James, any of the officers will help you out. But it is very straightforward. There's actually a self-explanatory um, process to do it. You've got to register a card, a 500 pound deposit, which is you pre-authorize it. We don't take the money. Um, it just allows you to bid. We, um, we see you've registered your card and we can then get you online. If you go onto our website, it's very simple, but like I say, call us. James, thank you. Thanks, Thanks again. again, guys. We'll see Thanks you soon. Bye. Really enjoyed that for a uh, Sunday really afternoon. Amazing. Shame the coffee shop's not open, but then uh, it is a bit hot anyway, and we've got a couple of nice cold bottles of water behind here, so geez, we can have them. Well, I suppose we're going to head back. Chris is having a barbecue today, and I'm going to my in-laws for dinner. As usual, we do hope that you did enjoy that little video. We certainly enjoyed making it and having a couple of hours out of our day. Don't forget, please like, subscribe, share, follow us on Instagram if you haven't already at Salvage Rebuilds. And we'll see you very, very soon in the next one.